Yeah, I mean, I think um, you know the guys showed great character um, to pull themselves back in the game. You know, one nil down um, against a team that was very well organised. I thought I was impressed by the way they set themselves up, made it very hard for us to break down. But you know, full credit to our guys. They kept going, kept going, and it took a, a great strike from Chris Turpak to to bring the crowd to the crowd to the feet. And uh, you know, it was uh, when it goes in the top corner, you're always pleased, and it gave us a chance. You know, we wanted to try and go on and win the game, and the players pushed and pushed. Um, and then, uh, you know, we, we hung in there to the final minute and uh, we got a point out of the match. When's, when that goal went in, did you feel like, OK, this is our chance, we, we, we get that motivation, then with that extra push, try to take the win to one? Yeah, goals change games, right? So in that moment when, when you score a goal, you saw, you saw um, the switchbacks first off, right? They get a goal, they came out a little bit higher up the pitch and, and pressing us, and then when they scored, they dropped back. So it's always difficult to try and break that down. Um, but, you know... You get a goal and you feel like, okay, can we, can we go on and win it? And we, we, we made the decision to try and get three points out of that game. And the guys pushed and pressed. And, uh, you know, it could have gone either way in the final whistle. You put in a lot of players up top, you had different players getting in the mix up there. How do you feel about the chances you all had and the players going in? Yeah, I think, you know, I think if you look at the first 15 minutes, we've had as many chances as we've had all season. And, you know, it, it's these moments when, you know, if you score a goal, the momentum changes a different way. So tonight um, they got that first goal, which is so valuable in this league. And, um, you know, we wanted to try and get back in it and we were trying different looks and different um, formations to try and get a goal back. And in the end, Chris Turpak put one in that uh, certainly uh, pulled us back into the game. Coach, you talked about Colorado's defense, specifically in that first half where, you know, it seemed like if a person in black had the ball, a person in, like three people in white around you. So just talk about their defense. Yeah, full credit to, to Colorado today. They came with a game plan and they stuck to it and they worked extremely hard. And you saw them, um, you know, fighting and, and trying to trying to get, get something out of the game. And so full credit to them, full credit to their coaching staff. Uh, they did a good job today. And, uh, you know, I was just very proud of our guys that, you know, they never, never, never gave up and kept going and kept plugging away to try and get that equaliser and uh, in the end we certainly got a good goal. What's the difference between this season and last season where the team would go down a goal and they seemed that they were kind of like five but kind of give up halfway through? Tonight they fought to the very end. I, I, you know, I, I, we don't look at that. You look, we're in the moment as coaches, right? So we're looking right now that we're focused on this team. You know, last year is, um, is behind us. Um, you know, it's now this year's team that we focus on. So, you know, I, I can't compare team to team, year to year, game to game. You know, we're focused on, um, you know, playing Colorado tonight, making sure that everyone was doing the task. The players did that and they had to adjust and they, were, they showed their adaptability during the course of the game, which I'm very, very proud of them to do so. And uh, now we have to get ourselves prepared for our next match. And that's, that's how it works, you know, as a, as a staff and as a player. You know, this, this one now is behind us and we need to get focused for the next game. So as you alluded to earlier, they, they, after they got their goal, they just basically hunkered down. They were prepared to just ride it out like a bomb shelter back there. Yeah, <laughs> the, um, you know, I think, if you're away from home and you get get a point, you know you you, you you can be happy with that. And you know they got a goal, and the goals are valuable. They're not easy to score. You know if we could score them all the time, we would. I tell you. Um, but you know they're very difficult to score. So when you have that goal, yeah, you're gonna make sure you get numbers behind the ball and protect that lead. And they had something to fight for. You know we did the same at RGV. We got a goal and we had something to fight for. And so these games are all different. They all present new challenges. Uh, Colorado came with a, a, a good game plan. Again, full credit to their coaching staff. And, um, you know, in the end, you know, points are very valuable in this league. And we managed to get a point and remain undefeated in the USL League. Coach, you talk about, you know, it's not easy to score goals, but you had opportunities. Ralph had a, you know, a shot that he could have taken. Devin in here at the end, Elizondo trying to scissor, scissor kick it in. So just, but they wouldn't go in. We, we got into the spots, right? And, and, and this, is, this is soccer, so you get into good spots and then it's can you execute in that moment. And, you know, the guys are trying the hardest and they came up, they got into exciting spots, the fans got behind us. Again, the fans were fantastic. You know, that the noise that they make in the stand is, uh, is very helpful for, for the players and it creates an environment that, that is, can be a home field advantage. So, you know, look, we had our chances, we had our opportunities. That's what we work on during the course of the week. And, um, you know, hopefully they go in more often than not.